Second down. Here's the northeast prospect, Travis Dickinson, making the trip down south. Certainly gave us some uh, exciting moments in 2009. Big puncher. And just 21. First mini move up in class against the two-time former Commonwealth challenger, Hastings Rossani, who's still a fair test, even though he's now 35. Left hand from Dickinson, and the natural power already beginning to tell. Yeah, Dickinson has tremendous power. I mean, you can see the way he stands there. He's really perfectly balanced, just poised to, to let the big shots go. And he's naturally heavy-handed as well. So even when he doesn't move in with the punch, just the, the, the strength he has in the hands, you can see the snap. Good right hand. A lovely shot. He blew away Stefan Hughes in just 40 seconds last October. Pavel Grabensky lasted 55 seconds. <laughs> and Hamed Jamali, just a couple of rounds. Dickinson does have a good jab as well, but just think it's important when you move up through the weight divisions, you want a good solid jab. And he works well behind it, but real natural power in the right hand. Giving away about three quarters of a stone as well tonight, Dickinson. He's a little bit over eager to get the big punches on, just wants to take his time, settle down. I think the uppercut is the punch for Rassani, the way he's ducking down. So, right, Dickinson okay. just wants to step back and have a good look at things here. Just over anxious at the moment, just a stumble. Rassani is in fight number 72, but he has won three of his last four, including impressive decisions over Billy Boyle and JJ Ujaderi as well. Right hand from Dickinson. And Dickinson just wants to tidy things up a little bit, start using that jab I was speaking of. See, he's walking on to shots, he's too keen to score the knockout himself. He's leaving himself open here. Right he does tend counter. to lift. Sorry, he does tend to lift his chin when he throws the right hand, which is dangerous. Counter from Rosani. Just a reminder. And again, not a great deal of defence being shown in this first round, and he catches Dickinson Rosani. This is becoming a shootout. See, he is so vulnerable, Dickinson, when he's getting set to throw the punches. He there is again every time he's about to throw. His chin comes up, dangerous. High risk tactics, he gets one in at the end of a dramatic opener. You've got to start moving ahead a bit. You've got to start moving ahead a bit. You're walking in straight, right? Get the head moving and double that jab up nice and snappy. Double the jab, drop the right hand. And we try and keep it straight. You're doing them fucking choppy ones. Excuse the language. He you has got to get his head moving, hasn't he? Yeah, Yep, he wants the chin down, especially when he's throwing punches, and he wants to be using the jab, that's what his corner are calling for, he has an excellent jab, but uh, look, his defences several times in that opening round were left scattered, and they're walking on to the uppercut, that's when he's about to throw punches, I think he's just too keen to score the knockdown, looking for an early knockdown, just wasn't thinking enough about what he was doing, you have to set things up. I mean, dangerous when you're taking punches as cleanly as that. Fifth outing for Newcastle's Travis Dickinson. He's won everything so far. And three by sensational knockouts. But just a touch of vulnerability about him in the opener here against the experienced Hastings Rosani from Zimbabwe. But based in the Midlands now under the Errol Johnson team. Knows all the tricks. That's better from Dickinson, behind the jab. Thought in that. That's exactly what's required. Use the jab and then look for the openings. Don't just cop the right hand every second uh, when Rosani knows exactly what's coming. Just work for the opportunities. And he's 21, Travis Dickinson, Jimmy. He's probably just very keen to try and blow these guys away, especially someone with the, the seasoning of Rosani. 
Yep, I don't mind that. I mean, I don't mind one round knockouts if you, if you do them properly, but he left himself open so often. We'll see if he tightens things up in this round. Sani dropping his hands, looking for the counter himself. Walks into that one, though. Reflex is not quite what they once were. This is better from Dick Dickinson. He's looking at what he's doing. He's taking his time. He's making decisions. He's not just throwing wild punches. Much better. Well, walks into that one. Dickinson, head in the air again, chin all over the place. See, you have to pay these old war horses some respect because they know the tricks. They're only looking to pot shot now and again, and if you give them the chance, they'll take it. Just a high-risk strategy from Travis Dickinson, who can box. He was a top-class amateur, and he showed at the beginning of this round that he's got a neat jab. His boxing looks a little bit forced at the moment, so I think too much in his mind. He wants to throw the bombs, wants to score the knockout, but maybe he should be chiseling away. Walking on to another one. Well, that's one right hands, but Dickinson with the power, and Rossani trapped in his own corner. 20 seconds left in the second. Deep breathing from Rossani. He needs room, though, Dickinson. Yeah, Rossani calling in all the old tricks that he knows just to see it to the end here. He's been hurt, he's been shaken. So just all the old pro tricks. Well done. Good fight. <laughs> Don't tell the fucking camera then. You're yeah. <laughs> Excuse the language in the corner. Blood in the mouth of Hastings Rosani. That's why you're going to keep letting him backing off and letting him get them big right hands on. Every time you catch him, he stands still. But you then you then you stand up. Harold Johnson, who was with Rob Norton last week. Yeah, but a lot of good work uh, from Dickinson in that round. But now and again, even as you see him now, head. Although he had hurt Rasani at that stage, and I think he felt he was one clean punch away from the finish. But he's going to have to think about his defences as he's letting his own punches go. He needs that chin down a little bit. But he felt at that stage, one clean punch with a finish session. That was a beautiful right hand. That's the one that started the problems for Rasani. We're watching this... Uh... Interesting, lively match in the cruiserweight division. Travis Dickinson, really a light heavyweight, and with Hastings Rosani, a bit bigger these days. And as Jim's been saying, knows the old tricks, fiddled his way through to the end of that second, but he was hurt. Can Dickinson find another perfect right hand? See why he's got the fans, though, Travis Dickinson, can't you, Jim? Yeah, well, he has the natural power, he's aggressive, and he likes to excite. Nothing wrong with that. There's not too much I want to change about his attitude. I just like to see his chin down a little bit, especially when he's letting the punches go. Had to do that as an amateur with the Burtley Boys Club. Twice beat George Groves. Really impressive performances in the unpaid ranks. See, I just don't think he can time the punches uh, properly tonight. Rosani is a bit trickier than he looks. You know, there's constant head movement. He does look a little bit clumsy at times, Rosani. But he's not staying in the one spot. You're not allowing Dickinson to nail him with the power shots. So Dickinson not looking so good in this round. Wants to get that jab moving again. What for the openings. Body shots from Rosani. He's trying to slow Dickinson down. Sort of settled into journeyman life in Britain. 
He's lost 44 of his 71, but he's better than that. Stats don't do him credit. Well, Dickinson not looking all that good at the moment. It's all coming need... forward and an offence, isn't it, Jim, from yeah. Dickinson? He needs a bit more thought, he needs to tidy things up, he wants to use the jab, just rubbing the forehead in there. Everything's forced, he wants a one-punch knockout. And this really hasn't looked anything like his old self in this round. Bassani giving as good as he's getting for most of this round, that was better from Dickinson, much better. He tries the uppercut, which you were calling for very early on in this fight. Yeah, swapping single blows, Dickinson's going to come off better. But Rosani's chipped away through this third. And it could get harder for Dickinson. Good body shots. Rosani took that, surely. He's spending too much time on the inside. He's spending far too much time on the inside. Then you either work or step back. Substitute, substitute. Something, deep press. Right, you either work on the inside or step back and get it back on the long <laughs> shots, right? <laughs> right Something, deep press. All right? Uh -huh. All right? He's uh, forcing out the, yeah, the window. The window maybe if there's uh, some discomfort to tonight. Maybe, maybe not feeling quite himself, but he looked very sluggish right. in that Don't round. Them body shots, yes. <laughs> but turn him as you're doing him. Okay, another drink. Deep breaths. You got me? Did you think it's tiring. tiring? Yeah, well, he's fighting the wrong fight. He's been looking for the knockout with every punch as this one started. And uh, Rasani oh, chipping Jesus. away, giving as good as he was getting. Okay, the better punching coming from Dickinson, but not enough of them.